Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynnanne. Today is August 28th, 2022. Um, if you are new here, hi, welcome. Come on in, check me out. Um, see what my channel is all about. Uh, returning subscribers, hi, thank you so much for coming and spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. My channel is all about yarn, crochet, knitting, anything to do with the fiber arts and my journey through the yarning community. Um, if you uh, stick around, like what you see, uh, hit the like button, uh, maybe comment, uh, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Um, Sunday is my vlogging chat day. Um, kind of catch up what's going on from the past week, what's going to happen in the next week. Um, and just some general chit chat. Um, this Sunday, I don't have a whole lot. I have a Michael's haul. Um, I have a, a dilemma and I got to meet one of my subscribers yesterday and I was so excited and I'll tell you about that on the, um, in a minute. So, um, today my, I have nothing finished, nothing. I, if you remember on Wednesday, I had starditis and I had five or six projects started. Not a single one of them is finished. I have just, I've lost it. And I blame it on this project. I just, I couldn't get past what was going on here. I think I got this bag at Michael's, you know, Explore the Great Outdoors. And in this bag is my Marley Bird. Oops, it's all the way down to the bottom. Um, Lafayette Chic Wrap. Um, this is as far as I've gotten on it. I am using Rosetti Yarns Merino Mist. This is a lightweight number three that's 60 viscose, 20 acrylic, 20 fine merino. And it's a really pretty yarn, really soft looking. Got a really fluffy halo. Ah, it's got a pretty sheen to it. And I hate it. I, I don't know what it is about this yarn. I, I don't like the way it feels on the hook. I don't like the way it feels in my hand. The more I work with it, the less soft it feels. I don't know. I'm so disappointed. And it, it just absolutely crushed my Crojo. I just, mm, it's making me crazy. I mean, you can't even see any stitch definition. I don't know if I'm using the wrong pattern for this yarn. I don't know. And, and I'm very discouraged and I, I don't like this feeling. So what I've decided I'm going to do, and I'm only going to open this up to the 48 contiguous states. I'm sorry, anybody who is out of the country, but right now shipping is too crazy. But I'm going to give this project away. Um, because this does not frog. And this is this yarn is too nice to not finish this. I have six more balls of this merino mist and the one that's attached so that's seven balls and these have 167 yards i'm going to give these away um i'll let this uh giveaway run for two weeks so a week from sunday not this sunday coming up but the following sunday um I'll draw a winner using the random comment picker. If you are interested in finishing this project or even in this yarn, uh, in the comments, uh, use the term uh, Merino Mist. And that's how you spell it. Merino Mist. M-E-R-I-N-O-M-I-S-T. Um, I just, I hate for this to go to waste. And if you can finish this project, and use it as a gift or whatever. The, it, the color is beautiful. It's called, what's the color called? I don't know. I think it's drizzle. The color is drizzle. Uh, the yarn is made in Turkey. It's well-made yarn. I just don't like it. And I'm so sad because 
you're not supposed to not like yarn. It's beautiful. But there's just something about this. So the winner of this giveaway will get this project and the printed out pattern that I printed out and six more balls of this. So it'll be seven balls and hopefully you can make something really nice with it. But that just makes me very sad that I don't like it. And, and so that kind of just deflated me. I have done nothing all week. Um, I just, uh, I can't get it back. I, I'm, so I decided I need to find something that inspires me. And we all need to be inspired to create. And because that's what we're doing. We're, we're creating things. So I found, um, I'm really enjoying the process of Tunisian crocheting. So I was flipping through some different Tunisian crochet tutorials. And I found another one by Tony at TL Yarn Crafts. And I love her tutorials. If you haven't done one of her tutorials, give it a shot. She does regular crochet too. Um, and she just has the best presentation when she's teaching you a stitch or teaching you a pattern. She, she's a natural teacher and she's really very good at what she does. Um, her blog has a bunch of free patterns. Uh, her blog is tlycblog.com. Um, check her out on her blog and on YouTube. Um, this one I did is called the Lamia Rat. And it's going to be a triangle. And you start it. Wait, where are we starting at? Yeah, it goes this way. <laughs> you start here at this edge with the honeycomb. And then it goes into the simple stitch. And at the end, it'll finish with the honeycomb so that it has honeycomb on this end, honeycomb on that end, and across the flat top. This edging is beautiful and straight. The simple stitch is just beautiful. And this is just gonna be soft and squishy. I am using an everyday anti-pilling bobbin from Premier, um, and this is kind of where I'm at at it. Um, these these are a, a number four, hundred percent anti-prilling acrylic. The color that I'm using is called Sand Dollar, and this taupe is one of the colors. This cream is the other color, and then the middle color is a marled of both the cream and the taupe. And that's the section I'm on right now, is the section of the marled. So I did a section of the cream, I did all of the cream, and now I'm gonna do all of the taupe, or the, the marled, and then I'll finish it with the taupe. Um, each section of yarn has 181 yards, so there's 543 yards total on this bobbin, and that should be more than enough to finish this. It'll be, I think she said 41 inches wide when you're done with it. And I have another one of this sand dollar up in the top up here. And I think once I got this finished, I'm going to make a hat to go with it. And this will be a really nice gift for somebody this Christmas, or I don't know, we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. But even this is the wrong side. And even that's pretty with the little bumps. But this is the front side and I, I'm enjoying the process of making this Shaw. So this is kind of getting me back into being happy about my crochet again. So maybe once I get through this and see how beautifully this is turning out, uh, maybe I'll get back on the other ones that I have started and finish those because I, the green one, the uh, Bag o Day um, hooded scarf, I want to send that to my daughter-in-law and she's in Michigan and uh, I want to be able to give that to her when we go up. We're going, we're going to Michigan in October um, to watch my son's football team and um, I want to be able to give that to her when I'm there. So 
I got a little bit of time, but I, I, I want to get on it. So that's it. People, that's the extent of my con crochet for, for the last few days. Um, I just, I'm, I'm sad, <laughs> but I think I've gotten, I've gotten over the hump and I found a project that inspires me and want, and I want to finish. So this one will get finished probably today because this works up really, really fast. So I am excited about this. I will have a finished object for sure. Um, and the other thing I did is I went to Michael's. I, I I didn't need any yarn, but when they've got their clearance, you know, and you can get Karen cakes for $5, I'm all in. My Michaels, um, I go to the Michaels in Ocala, Florida, um, and that's about 45 minutes from my house. Um, I, I wasn't going to go there because my doctor's, I've had three doctor's appointments this week. I'm fine, but I've had three doctor's appointments this week. And their office is literally around the corner from Hobby Lobby. And I have been stalking my Hobby Lobby on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. Um, and they aren't doing the dialogue clearance. So I was kind of sad. And then I thought I had seen a lot of people, D at D's Creative Hands, um, and some others had gone to Michael's and they got Karen cakes for $5. And I said, yes, please. I love Karen cakes. So I got Karen cakes. But the problem is that my Michael's, they don't like, they don't take any time or any care about it. They literally put out this giant cage and throw all the clearance yarn in it so you're digging through to try to find something um that's worth it and, and luckily i did i was able to find some nice stuff and i'm thrilled with what i got it's just there's got to be a better way than me having to spend a half an hour digging through pounds and pounds of yarn anyway i digress um my super fine of the day was this Karen Lava Cake. And this color is Kissy Kissy. These are, it's a bulky number five. Uh, it says use a six and a half millimeter washable and dryable, 58 acrylic, 42 nylon. Oh, I love this. And the color it's the soft grays and a soft pink oh it's so pretty and so fuzzy and like i said there's 530 yards of yarn on here of a bulky number five with only one i'm thinking child size hat and a child size uh fingerless gloves maybe or I, maybe a couple of different child size hats. Uh, it says one that this cake will do one knit adult hat, and that's the pattern that comes with it. And yeah, I'm not anywhere near able to do that. So I'm 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 thinking a couple of child size hats. My granddaughters will probably like a hat made out of this because it is so soft and it'll be warm and it's a nice chunky yarn. So that was pro number one. Number two was, let's get two of these. I got two of these, the cotton painterly cakes. And the this color is vanilla wafers. Um, and these are a number four, so it's use a five millimeter hook, 60 cotton, 60, uh, 40 acrylic. And it's pink and yellow and cream. And I don't know, this screams Easter to me. So I'm thinking cute Easter dress for one of my granddaughters, uh, maybe a little sun hat. I don't know, I just, very Easter-ish to me. I, don't know, I may be off, but that these scream Easter to me. So I got two of those. 
I got one of this one, Cotton Lava Cake. And this color is Rosewater Biscuit. And with the different colors of pink and the yellow. And again, this screams bridal party Easter brunch to me. I don't know. And then I got another one of these lava cakes in apricot sorbet. And these are corals and pinks and yellows. And I thought these kind of go together. It's basically the same color palette um, with the pinks and the corals and the yellows. I don't know. I don't know. It's just fun to think about. And then I got two in this and then another lava cake. And this color is called Candied Flowers. And this one is so springy with the greens and the yellow and the pink. So I, I, not a clue what I'm going to make with them yet, but we'll figure something out. And the last one, and this is what happens when they throw things in the bottom of a barrel. This is a disaster. But I loved this color palette so much, it had to come home with me. Now this is just a regular Karen cotton cake. It's 60 cotton, 60 or 40 acrylic of a number four, 530 yards machine wash and dryable. This color is called driftwood. And look at those colors, the coral and the yellow and the brown. And I just, this is going, I'm, I know exactly what I'm going to make with this. Um, Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches put out a tutorial a couple weeks ago for her Boho Granny Square bag. Um, this is going to make a beautiful fall market bag. You know, whatever, Boho bag. That's what this is going to turn into. Definitely turn into a beautiful bag. These colors are so pretty, and this camera's not doing it well. But and this is such nice yarn, and I love working with these cotton cakes. So for $5, even though it's a mess, it's going to turn from this mess into something really pretty, and I'm really excited about it. So that was my Michaels haul. Um, like I said, that was the one in, the, in Ocala. I have time this week. I might duck out to the villages, which is another half an hour in the other direction from me, and see if their store has any more, because for $5, you can't beat it. So anyway, that was my excursion to the urine store. So yesterday, well, this started on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I got an email from one of my subscribers. Hi, Lisa. It was really great to meet you. Um, she said that she had a sweater knitting machine and was I interested in it for her reason. She couldn't use it and wanted to know if I would be interested in it. I know nothing about knitting machines. I know, mm -mm. but I've seen other people using adding machines and I thought, well, this sounds interesting. Um, I, it can't hurt. Why not? She wants to give it to me. So we were able to find a, pl uh, a meeting place halfway between her house and my house. And we met up and it was so nice to meet her and her husband, such nice people. Um, and she even told me that there's a little yarn shop in Lady Lakes, which is still quite a bit away from me, but it would be worth the trip. Um, so Lisa, if I end up going that way, I'm going to let you know and we'll meet up again. Um, anyway, so she's like, here is this sweater, the incredible sweater knitting machine. Holy, this is crazy. I have never seen anything like this before. I mean, everything is here. It, 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 it according to this, it, it was an infomercial in 1993 and 1994. Um, 
Ha! Huh, it's from Glens Falls, New York. That's where my mother was born. Um, anyway, but it's got all these patterns and instructions, and this is the pattern book. I mean, I that's a nice sweater for a man. If I can knit that on this machine, heck yeah. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up. Uh, if not today, tomorrow, um, and see how this works. Technology wise, I'm not capable of starting a video, adding another video in and then start and ending the video. So I might end up having to put an extra video in either this week or next week of me using this machine. But I think this is going to be fun. I've, I've never seen one of these before. I mean, this is, it's kind of a big machine, but I, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. I'm excited to give it a shot. See what, how hard it is to use. If it's hard at all. Um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. So more to come on that. Um, see if we get anywhere. But Lisa, again, thank you so much. I am really excited about trying to, to use this machine. Um, so we'll definitely let you know on the progress on that. So Again, if you're interested in this yarn, I'm sorry, only in the 48 contiguous states because shipping is just too much. Uh, make sure you use the code word that I gave you um, if you're interested in finishing this project. Um, like I said, this doesn't frog. So uh, you'll get six skeins or donuts of the Merino Mist plus the started project and the pattern if you're interested. So that'll run for two weeks. Um, so if you want to, you know, leave a comment below and let me know if you're interested in it. So in the meantime, um, stay creative and be kind to everyone.